I encourage all my kapuso, kabarkada, kapamilya, my fellow Christians and believers, let us stop this bandwagon. Let our mouths, as tiny as it seems, be an instrument to bring healing. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. What if I could speak all languages of humans and even of angels? If I did not love others, I would be nothing more than a noisy gong or a clanging cymbals. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is not just a word to be felt, but it must be an action word to be executed. Love, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. I encourage all my kapuso, kabarkada, kapamilya, my fellow Christians and believers, let us speak life rather than distraction. Speak health rather than declaring illness. Speak hope rather than spreading the desperation. Speak in peace rather than igniting conflict. Speak to give comfort rather than of despair. Speak love rather than hate. Our country and the whole world has been suffering a lot. We have been anxious about what tomorrow brings. Are we going through the motions? Do we speak to heal or to ignite more fire? Let us stop this bandwagon be a beacon of hope, peace, and life. Let us start from within ourselves, our family, to our sphere of influences until we all together spread the kind of love that goes beyond our failures and differences. Let our mouths, as tiny as it seems, be an instrument to bring healing, be an advocate of love and hope to this shaken world.